shoots. You look at how many shoots there are from the, the ground. Disaster. Don't know where we're gonna be after. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Jessie, I hope you're all doing great. I make videos three times a week, so hit that subscribe button if you do want to see more videos from me. Today's video, I'm taking you on a vlog and we're going to go buy some house plants. I'm super excited about buying plants. I've been waiting for these for a couple of days now, but I know absolutely nothing about indoor plants. So today I'm actually going to two places. I'm going to Bunnings Warehouse. I'm going to check out the plants there. And I'm also going to the Grow Center. So I've never been to the Grow Center. I don't know what it's like, but I'm taking two of my friends with me. So James and Alicia and they are the plant experts so they're going to show me exactly what to buy what to expect and pretty much teach me what kind of plants that i need how to look after them and just all the basics not too sure how many plants i want to get today I'm thinking maybe one or a few more but we'll need to go and see what's actually available at the moment i'm super excited to go so let's go check out some plants we have arrived, first stop Bunnings, just waiting on James and Alicia, they shouldn't be too long and then we'll head inside. We're falling, we're falling down, we fading. This is a rubber, rubber plant. It's got really, like really beautiful waxy leaves. It's super easy to look after. See, when you look, look at plants, you look at how many shoots there are from the, the ground because yeah. it means more potential for it to like obviously be a thicker growth. Mm -hmm. So this one has quite a few here and then this one, this one has quite a few actually. These ones are much better than the first one. No, three. Three, yeah? Yes, yeah, three. This is going to be a good one. Yeah, it's a good Yeah. So that's what like we can So we can't look at the root system, so down here. That's really nice there. $30. If you were to put this um, in a shaded spot and you just want a big plant for indoor, this works just as well as Birds of Paradise. You can train it to grow taller, mm -hmm. but you can trim a monstera. You can shorten it yep. if it grows up high. Yeah. Whereas the Birds of Paradise can look stupid if you cut it off. Right. When all of these start growing at these ends here, at each individual end yep. where they, they grow, it just means you have a bushier sort of growth. So I've got just one of these things. Yeah. James has like three, four. This is actually quite cheap. So you look for ones again, like with this is like how many? Are these easier to maintain? Than this is actually stem? harder, but harder. you just have to be gentle with it. <gasps> so this one you can like, if you're heavy handed in watering, it's fine. And the Monstera, if you're heavy handed in watering or you forget to water it, it'll actually be okay. Whereas this one, you kind of have to just look at the soil. Yeah. It needs more light to get to the white. Whereas if it doesn't get enough, it'll go yellow. Uh, whereas this one, the Devil's Ivy, if you don't get enough sunlight, it'll just be green. Mm -hmm. And if it has sunlight, then it'll get the nice yellow because it's golden. So the Snow Queen, these ones have received enough light. Whereas this one here is a little bit more yellow. Yeah. You can see the white and the yellow colours. Yeah. So it's yellow because it doesn't get enough. And once it does, it gets a nice, beautiful white. Whereas like, it's kind of what you want. Mm -hmm. We're like Alpha. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> <laughs> Just get the big one. And we thank the community for practicing social distancing. Let's go. ended up getting one big monstera plant so that was actually from the growth center and it was on sale so it was only $59 and I ended up getting a pretty big size for that and we got a snow queen a marble queen so two snow queens two marble queens and what I'm actually going to do is combine the two marble queens together to make one bushy marble queen and we are combining the two snow queens together to make a bushy snow queen. I saw so many pretty plants that I've never ever seen before. I did look online before I went, but it was actually good to go there and see them in real life. I think I'm actually gonna go back tomorrow and get a few more. Today we're going to a different Bunnings warehouse to see 
if there is more variety of indoor plants there and if they have anything different than what we saw yesterday. Today we ended up purchasing another medium sized plant and this time I got the Calatheas. So I think the leaves on this is so pretty. And I got another one which is the Rojo Congo. I think this one is so pretty. The leaves are dark green and then you've got red or orangey leaves that also shoot out as well. I'm actually taking a trip to see my mum today as well and she is giving me an orchid. My grandma's giving me some aloe veras and she's also giving me a, another calathea which is the snake, the snake plant. Alicia and James came over last night and they actually helped me repot the marble and the snow queens. So this is what it looks like now. These are so pretty. So this one is the marble queen. And you can see from the leaves, it's got like a marble texture. So we combined the two little ones and it became this one pot. And this one is the Snow Queen. We did the exact same thing. So now it's combined into one pot as well. It looks a lot more full than before. They're so pretty on the bookshelf, like it droops down like this, or you can train them to go up or you can train them to wrap around different shapes. But yeah, really happy with these two. For my Marble Queen, I've called her Mabel. And my Snow Queen, I've named her Elsa. So this one is like the Ice Queen of Frozen. I feel like I've learnt quite a lot in these few days of just plant shopping. This is my Monstera from the Grow Centre. She's quite big and they had all sorts of different sizes, even bigger ones. But I chose this one because She's got so many leaves coming out, so many root systems, and the leaves are just so pretty on this. I fell in love with this one. And it was only $59. So happy with this. So what you're seeing down here is James and Alicia actually came and we got plant ties. So we tidied it up a bit, put the leaves in together a bit, twisted some leaves around, just pretty much styling the plant to how I want it to grow. And I think it looks amazing. So this Monstera, I've actually named her Gertrude. <laughs> I know it's a weird name, but I've always wanted to use that name for something. Day two, I got this plant. So this is my Calathea and this is the Zebrina. So it got its name, as you can see from the leaves. Kind of looks like zebra stripes. It's so pretty, I love this one. I love all of them, but this one's so pretty. So with this, it actually moves its leaves up like this. So currently the leaves are up right now. And then sometimes you'll see it droop all the way down and that's with all the leaves. So this one is also known as a praying plant because the leaves go up and down throughout the day. This one's so pretty. So this is, because this is a Calathea, I've named her Kathy. This plant is the Rojo Congo I was talking about and I love the dark green leaves that's coming out of this. A bit of a contrast to the other plants so far because a lot of them are just bright green. This is the dark green and you can also see the red on this leaf, so beautiful. And then the red stem, I love this one as well. I'm so happy with all my plants right now. <laughs> this one I've named her Ember because of the fire-like leaves. And I love the gradient of this. So pretty, I love this. <sighs> love all my plants right now. So that's all for everything that I purchased. Of course, I also purchased these pots separately. Bought some soil, fertilizer. I bought neem oil because I wanted to make sure that these plants are not getting any bugs near them at all. So I am prepared. Next up, I'm going to show you guys the little plants that my mom and my grandma also gave to me as well. So here is my aloe vera plant. Probably don't really need to explain this one. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of aloe vera. And I know a lot of people actually use it for like if you have cuts and burns, you rip one off and put it on and it's pretty cooling. So I thought this was a great plant to have around the house. Plus, it, apparently it's really easy to look after. <laughs> 
So because this one is in aloe vera, I've named her Vera. My mom actually gave me another plant too. So this one's a Calathea as well. So it's in the same family as the zebra one, but this one is like a snake plant. It goes up like a snake. As you can see from the texture, it actually looks like a snake. But apparently this one is really easy to look after too. So got quite a few to look after now. I'm hoping she's right about this one. I don't have a name for this one yet. So if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comment section down below. My mom also gave me this orchid. So this one has just finished flowering. I'm actually not too sure what color the flower is, but <laughs> basically a few times a year it'll flower. And if you cut the stem off, it'll keep flowering. So the stem has already been cut off for me and it grows up like that and then it'll have like a pretty little flower here. I can't wait to see what this one will look like when it does flower. Currently, it's just in this cute little tiny pot. Because this one's an orchid, I've called her Olga. I know, so I've got some really weird names. This one's super duper cute. Okay, so that's actually all the plants that I've purchased in my plant haul vlog. I actually only wanted to get maybe about one or two plants, but I ended up having almost a little jungle here. But I'm so happy with all of it. Thank you, James and Alicia, so much for introducing and just teaching me about these. I can't wait to see how they will grow and hopefully they don't die on me. <laughs> but I can't wait to see them grow and just flourish and yeah become bigger and prettier and be one big happy family once i do get bigger i'll probably do a little update for you guys as well on how they're doing so this is the end of the video guys thank you so much for watching let me know which plant was your favorite or which plant is your favorite which plant do you have i'd love to hear from you in the comment section down below please remember to like and subscribe i really do appreciate it for the algorithm and for myself of course and i will see you guys in my next video bye now take care